Dimp Digital presents Idle Game Chat. Hello, Apps here from Dimp Digital. Welcome to Idle Game Chat. This is the weekly video games podcast where we give our impressions of the games that you can play today and react to the latest news from the wonderful world of video games. We are here every Monday on your favourite podcast app and YouTube absolutely free. This week, I am joined by the free time Dimp Digital Gaming Quiz Champion, it's Tom Atkins, not Ed Cock. How's it going? Three time champion, one time COVID sufferer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Riddled. Riddled with it. So last week Atkins was was booked in, yeah. penciled in to return after the Euro break we had, and unfortunately, well I'll let you tell the story if you wish to, he was that struck was down. <laughs> Delta variant. <laughs> the wavy COVID given to me by one Sutton if he's listening. <laughs> I want answers. Where's he been? <laughs> Went missing. Yeah. So you weren't very well for a period of time. And obviously, we're yeah. not, not that we do these in person, but um, I remember I messaged you on the Sunday. And I was like, are you actually feeling all right? And he was like, nah. <laughs> it's, it's, I want to no, put my feet up. Like two days, two or three days, I was absolutely poor. And mm. then the rest, I was, it was all right. Just a bit tired and just meh. But... Mm. The sick... one or two days. Well, the sickness for you is it's moved back your second jab now. You've got to wait 28 yeah. days, haven't you, yeah. from when you tested sick positive up. or whatever it is. Yeah, so I've got to wait till the end of August now. Fucking hell. There'll be new variants there lurking for you to catch. Right. So Exactly. If you're wondering where he was, that's where he was last week. Agcock decided to step in. I was going to put a classic episode up, and I thought, I'll, you know what, I'll see if Pac-Man's around. Like, no... no Gave him absolutely zero notice, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm free now oh, if you want." And I was like, "Cool, I'm not even ready." So I had to get get in order. <laughs> um, but he doesn't have a camera, so the uh, the video crowd do sometimes get a bit annoyed about that. But there is a little face that I put up of him, topless with his headset on. <laughs> he, he loves that picture. He kept saying, "Well, we'll use another one." I'm like, "Well, I'll get a video," and then. <laughs> We can we can do that. I can give him and just have that playing. <laughs> it should do. It's like oh, a, a, a looped video. That would be that would look quite nice. Um, but we're back again. Back two weeks Over running, three. so I think that's it now. We've got one more bank holiday coming up in August, I believe, and that'll be the break. Oh. And then towards the back end of the year, we'll break as well for Christmas or whatever. But full steam ahead now, and we're in a post E three twenty twenty one world. Uh, we yep. did do our, our highlights and our um, sort of sideways look at that a few weeks back. Uh, it wasn't one of the best ones, as we as we'd said, but there was a lot of games there, and we'd always planned to do a post-E3 gaming hype list update. Now, for those that don't know, these are 20 games that Adkins and I have curated and put together uh, for a hype list. So we rank them 1 to 20, and these are going to be the games that we, just us two, are most looking forward to that have not arrived yet. So a few spaces have opened up since we last met, which I think was in April. Uh, we've got precise, I think there's one, two, is it five or six? One, two, three, four. There's five spaces if we don't relegate anything out of it. Um, and there's lots of games that were kind of blown out at E3 that might fancy their chances on that. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to just go through some of the games that were on the list and were taken off or come out. So, first one was Hitman. Hitman 3. We had that ranking at number 7 on our first episode, or first hype list, which was January the 4th. That scored an 86, so not a bad effort from us there, I don't think. Got it Got it in the top 10, and it's it's produced a very nice score, which would have been... Any, any fantasy gaming league team would have fancied a bit of that. So tick in the box for us there. Next one's the medium. Now, cool. not so good. Uh, we had this at 16, and it was a 75 when I last looked. I think it might have even gone down again. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's not our best work. We try and get over 8s, didn't we? 8 is what we're after. That's what we're in the business for here. Yeah, anything below is 2. Monster Hunter Rise, that was number 9. 
and that went on that went on in February, I think, post um, the completion a late, of a late one. I remember yeah. that. We forgot about it. I mean, cool, actually, that better go up. Bagged itself a nice eighty-eight, so that's a good one there. Resident Evil Village, cool. so that was number three on our list, quite high. 84, 83, that's sitting on, so again, hit the hit the mark there. Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, number four, 88. Mass Effect, Legendary Edition, number five, 88. Returnal, number six, 86, that was a late one, 26th of April, yeah. we bumped that on, saw the previews and went, bah! put that on there because all the previews were strong. Uh, and here's the real blower, and there's only one man responsible for this, and spoiler alert, it ain't me. <laughs> number 20 so it was it was propping up the table which is yeah. fine but it was still on there and people may query us for even having it on there but mario golf super rush oh, i thought it would have done better than it did to be fair well yeah unfortunately hall sat through and played the campaign on this and was not impressed oh, and brave marshall he's a brave marshall for getting that one at full price <laughs> early doors a me character as well. Can't yeah, play yeah, and it's uh, my I might get Hall on just to speak about in a, in a in a future episode. Not just that, we'll find something interesting to talk about as well. But I'll definitely bring that up. But I believe a lot of the campaigns based on the uh, the rush um, golf where you have to pop fucking hold the fucking ball as quick as possible. It's not based on strokes. Um, I think a lot of it's based on that. But that ends up with seventy two, which isn't good enough at this level. Um, and then we took off. We binned. Hogwarts Legacy, so that got just yeah. scrapped off it, which is fine. We may have a few more later today. Uh, yeah. Here's some notable games that we actually missed. So, cool. Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury, oh, eight, eight, 89, yeah. so we didn't have that on there. Uh, Near Replicant, 83. It Takes Two, Ferris oh, completely cool. ignored with an 88. Um, oh. And a very recent one that came out in the last week or so, Death's Door. Can't say I was even familiar with that, but that's an 88. So, there's a couple we've missed. We don't, we're not going to, have to capture them all. Um, Pokemon. No, exactly. We have to do what we can, can't we? But we've got five spaces, but we've also got 15 games in here. And it's, I think the first portal call is, there's an order here. Let's run sure. through what we've got. Yeah. Number one, God of War, Ragnarok. Okay. Number two, Horizon Forbidden West. Spaces three, four, five, and six are blank, so we could move stuff up or put new stuff in. Seven is Breath of the Wild 2, still don't know the real name of that. Eight, Final Fantasy 16. Nine, Senua's Saga 2, Hell... Oops, sorry, Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. Ten, Dying Light. Eleven, Avowed. Twelve, Far Cry 6. Thirteen, Halo Infinite. Fourteen, 14 Kenner, Bridge of Spirits. I shook my head as I said Far Cry 6. Uh, Pokemon Legends Arce Arceus. Also. 16 Gotham Knights. 17 Beyond Good and Evil 2. 18 The Callisto Protocol. Cool, now what? Well, uh, 19 Fable. Ooh. So that's what we've got on there. Um, I didn't know we had Beyond Good and Evil 2. I'm surprised. Oh, did I? I didn't even know it was still a thing. <laughs> fucking vaporware. I think, to be honest, at the start of the year, there wasn't a great deal to pick from, hmm, in, my, in my view. Um, and I think we just made the best of it we could. So I've yeah. got a list of games here that have either been announced or a bit more information has come out since we uh, yeah. last met. And we'll do it. <laughs> right, let's start at the top, actually. Oh, it's gone. I was going to go in the opposite, but go on. Well, I phased you. God of War Ragnarok. We ain't, ain't now, coming this year. It's been delayed. Been and delayed. here's the new information that has kicked off and upset certain people. It's coming to PS4 as well. Does the combination of a delay and it also being compromised oh. by the PS4 knock it off top spot or, or give us you know, something to think, right, what is really going on here? Was it still got? Are we still trusting Corey to still, deliver? Yeah. Still, I don't know. Let me get me the. I'm gonna have to look at my phone again. Hold up. It's all right. Trusting. It's not like it's we're right. live. <laughs> there we go. That's. I don't have to keep looking. Right. See, for me, no. I still think it stays tot, even though the only one that could would be now Horizon, but. That suffers from the same brain hemorrhage. It, it does, yeah. 
I, I would agree with that. Um, I don't think there's anything on the list now that would knock that off that I've seen that I'm like super, super, super like I have to have this. So we'll le- we're going to leave that and leave gonna, perhaps yeah. leave those two. We'll see. Yeah, for now, I think they they could stay there for now. Yeah. Okay, we won't we won't we won't meddle with the list as it is. We'll just put new stuff in and see what's going on. Um, I'm tempted, right? Does anything need to come out of this? So the only thing I'm real, there's a couple of things I'm looking at that might want to. I'm gonna just bolder and for for taking out potentially. Gotham Knights, Beyond Good and Evil Two. I'm tempted to say Hellblade Two and Avowed, but yeah, uh, yeah, they could be they could be suffered. I'm just gonna highlight. I'm not gonna make a decision yet. Uh, no. But let's crack on with some of the games that could go on the yeah. list. Yeah, it's not good. Metroid Dread, going in big with Nintendo. Now, it surely has to go on the list. Yeah. The question is, where are you going to fucking want to dump this? I'd put it as high as fifth, I reckon. Fifth? Yeah, fifth. So you want this 2D toot, you're telling me? (laughs) Give me 2D to attend. Been in the making for 16 years. I know. I hope no one's been working it that long, but it certainly was surfacing all those years ago. So you're so based on that, you want to put it at five, which I'm not against. You're hyped for this, then? Yeah, I'm very hyped for this, to be honest. This is my Switch saviour. How many of these 2D outings have you played? Have you played a none. Prop- <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I've never played a Metroid game. I don't think. Played a bit of uh, Super Metroid on that little emulator that you get yep. on the Switch. Yeah. And. That's it. <laughs> and then, oh, and a bit of an original OG as well. Yeah. I, think I played a little tiny bit on of an emulator as well, um, Metroid Prime, but literally like one or two levels. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I just looked like, like the franchise. It's something I'd like to get into. I just wish they did like remasters of them, but I'd I like... don't know. This, this one, it looks really good. Yeah, no, it's definitely the Switch's big title for this, this year now, for the rest of yeah. it. Yeah, I think they like, used a lot of it in the promotion of that. OLED. Well, so, yeah, the colour of like the new, like the white looks a bit like the robot that's on the, that's chasing yeah. old Samus around. So, oh, oh, another amiibo to get as well. Yeah, it will be. It'll be hard to get as well. So you better have fucking pre-ordered everything, otherwise you won't be getting that. So we'll yeah. slot it in number five. I think that's fair. Um, that's five and two it, could still move, it, but for now, for now it sits in there. It's not. It's not knocked anyone off. There's no one getting armed, so we're mm. not. We're not worried. Next one could be a quick one. Could be just chucked in the bin or put on the maybe pile. Life is strange. True colours. Yeah, I would now say this... this is my opinion. I like those games. No, you like them games. I'm yeah. going to say put it in the maybe pile mm. and come back to it later if there's room. Like if if it's between that and Beyond Good and Evil Two, I'll put it on. Like that's what I'm thinking. Like one of those earmarked ones. But for now, I don't think it's going to go in the top ten. No. Um, to put it in at twenty just seems silly, so we'll we'll put that to the side for now. Yeah. Back for Blood, Game Pass, Day One. Oh, yes. Basically left for dead free. Yeah. Does this make it on? Yeah. Yeah? I don't know already. We knew about this, didn't we? Already. We did, but to be fair, we didn't know it was coming Game Pass, and that may uh, well have incentivized. Yeah, I'll say that has. Uh high six or that's the thing. Is it is it as high as six or is it above Breath of the Wild two Final Fantasy sixteen? I mean, it's coming this year, so it will give over its spot later. Are you going to sit down and play it? Is the like the top ten? I'd like to. I was even sniffing at playing Left 4 Dead the other day. Actually, Ooh. looking cool. Um, looking at the list, I'd probably replace it with Hellblade. What and take Hellblade out? Drop Hellblade down one. Oh, okay. Down one. Or, no, I'm more hyped for Dying Light 2. Yeah. Maybe was... underneath Dying Light, can we drop, put it into 11th and drop everything down? Yeah, that can be done quite easily. That, and then, like, there's definitely some of them are coming out, but. Back for Blood installed at number 11. Yeah. So that's that. Yeah, that's easy. Range. Next, one's, next one's a biggie. Elden Ring. Ooh. Oh, oh, that. Ah, ah, ah. That's difficult for me. Ah! 
I'm gonna have to go ahead. Four player co op! It could be the saviour! Yeah, in that in mind, go three. I was gonna go four, but there's another game I want in at four. I which agree. you probably won't agree with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to that one. Elden Ring installed. Yeah, I'm, look, if, if the, the co-op side of it comes through, that's a number three without question. has yeah. to be. Yeah. Um, if, people, if it turns out to be bollocks and it's like that old, oh, ring the bell, you can only do sections together, I'm going to be like, right. That tenants start kicking and it gets triple harder than it should be. I don't mind that, Adkins. We can share the misery. So. That's the, yeah, that is golden abyss that we can then help each other excellent Get fucking what's his name in here uh salmon salmon the real, the real fucking we'll get miyazaki in for an interview and go look you've directed this stuff you tell us what it's like he won't come on the show i don't think i don't think he even i don't think he even speaks english um any case elden ring installed number three solid yeah Next one. Now I can't believe it wasn't. Well, I can believe it wasn't on the list to start with because we didn't know fuck all about. It, it was just a screen, yep. but it's Starfield. Oh yeah. It's got. To, it's got to go on there for sure. I think. Yeah, but yeah it's got to go on. We've got a release go date and in-engine tut, but mm. you know, there's stuff on there that ain't even had that. I'd put that number. <laughs> That, see, I am hyped for it, but I'm, I still feel don't, there ain't much info on what it is. Don't trust them, do you? Nah. They ain't made a great game in 10 years, and it'll be 11 years hey. by the time this comes out. I keep saying it, and people keep getting annoyed. I'm telling you the facts. Fallout 4 is not a great game. <laughs> and Fallout 76... That is true. Oh, Skyrim, the last great game they made. Can they do it again 11 years later? It was fucking Todd lost his bollocks. <laughs> Get it on PS5. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Um, where's it go? Mm. I think top. So think, look, I see things like Hellblade sitting at nine, and I just think, how's it got in there that eye? Yeah, see that needs lowering. So I'd I'd be happy to slot it in under Breath of the Wild two, under Final Fantasy. Above Dying Light. Above Dying Light two. I think that's fair. Yeah, go on then. I mean, once it comes out, it's gonna be, it's gonna start going up. I think it's just that. Well, I don't have enough information yet. No, but this is this is it. The hype train can start now for this because we've finally got a a working release date. They they've acknowledged that it's not just a a lie. Exclusive. So this is like apart from Halo Infinite, this is their second biggest Mm. exclusive, isn't it? This will be if one of their, if not the biggest, next year. Yeah, yeah, most, once, most likely. Once things out, then yeah, this is this is the the moolah in it. So here's the so, problem: yeah. if we slot it in where we want to put it, yeah. so number nine, mm-hmm. we will. If we don't do any Jimmy in, we will get rid of Fable. Oh, I'm happy for that to go. That's still. <laughs> Well, there's more. There's probably games more I'd get rid of. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Take, there's, there's, we've got Beyond Good and Evil more than Fable. Really. So we, we'll get rid of that, shall we? Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that old <laughs> shit, and we'll put Fable in. Shall I put Callisto Protocol up one or Fable above? Oh, you know, we'll, put, we'll keep it as it was. Fable goes at twenty I now. Oh, that was going to be Dead Space. I yeah, we've like, been already doing it, done it under your nose, but no, we got two of the bastards coming. No, exactly. Oh, well. Next one. This is where it might get bloody. 12 minutes. Ooh. It's got Willem Dafoe in it. It's got oh, Daisy in it. It's got McAvoy in it. Is it Ridley? Is it she in yeah. it? Yeah. I don't know what they, I just, so we said. I don't I know where they got, got the money from. Well, Who's doing it? No idea. I'll look it up. <laughs> no I don't think it's a well-known studio is what I'd say. Oh, they've just got the fucking boys in. They've got it. It's coming day and date in Game Pass, yeah? That it's just the one fella, Luis Antonio, apparently. Oh, that fox, mate, he does the wheels. He does the wheels. <laughs> and bulldogs. Um, um, bulldogs, yeah. Yeah, I um, want this on the list, and it will it means sacrificing something, though. Yeah, I'm happy to sacrifice, even though I am hyped for it, but because it's now been delayed and there's been no more information, I'm happy to replace it with Gotham Knights. Get rid of that. Get rid of it because I think that that will be back, and we that will come back. That will come back to 
Yeah. I'm not even thinking of that anymore. Yeah. Same as Hogwarts. That got, that's already gone, isn't it? Yeah, we've already sacked that off. So that's the same thing. That will be back and will be talked about, but as far as I'm concerned, I ain't interested. If it ain't got a fucking queue... If it ain't got a queue when it's coming out, get out. Excellent. So 12 minutes goes to number 18. I'll take that. Yeah. Will it survive? We'll see. <laughs> Next one. Psychonauts 2. Now, you might have to take the wing on this because I have no hype for this whatsoever <laughs> as I've never played it. My view is it, it needs to go on the list. It, we're we're yeah. missing a great opportunity. Yeah, big exclusive. I've big. never even... I've not even looked at it. I don't know. All I know is it's got weird little characters. Yeah, they are weird little characters. <laughs> Schaefer's kick-started project. I mean, it has been in development for fucking ages. The only thing that gives me pause, but it's coming re- relatively soon. It'll be yeah. Game Pass day and date. Like I played, I tried to play the first one. It's too old. Run, it plays oh, like it? garbage. But the the levels and the ideas and the writing is really good. And I feel like it will be modernised. It will feel like a modern game, and that will make it excellent. So I was talking about he's been playing it. Apparently, he's got given some build. Um, Phil, who's this? Phil, big our friend of the show, Phil. Yeah, yeah. he um he was on the funny kind of funny podcast. And he said that he's been playing it for the last month as he's been given a bit of, like, a bait of fucking test or whatever. Yeah. And he said, like, it's good, but it's to that point now where he doesn't want to go any further because it's he wants to play the full game. Wants his achievements. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He wants that thousand achievements. As you say that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's got to be close. So, yeah, maybe that should go on. Is this, uh, I don't know if it... Else? Well, here's the problem. Hmm. There's something's going to have to come off or it goes in quite high and then we're just delaying the inevitable of knocking something off yeah uh, what's see I'm happy as it's actually got a release that I'm happy to take Fable off cool. I don't know about you or oh, is that too much of a statement hmm <laughs> I'll say I don't really know this one. I... S- you know, this is got zero input on this one. I'm sure if I start looking into it, it might hype, but I've not even bothered to look at it yet. The Ratchet and Clank Killer, they call it. Oh. I don't know if people are going to do that. They probably will if it comes. It, it will be on PlayStation as well. Interestingly, it's going to have an Xbox One edition and, and Xbox One X, Series X, Series S edition as well, PS4 edition, but no PS5. So Phil's pulled the plug on that, I reckon, and gone. You, ain't, you can have it because you you already right. agreed, but you're not having the next gen. Oh. I, ain't, I ain't financing that because I think the Kickstarter yeah. was for PS4 and Xbox One, so they they fulfilled. Was it Kickstarter or Fig? I think it was Fig actually, that like investor type thing. Um, but there will be no PS5 native version of it. I believe that means there's no 1440p. It'll just be 1080 60. But oh, there yeah. you go. <sighs> I mean, look, if I had my way, and sometimes I don't get it, no. I'd, look, what's going on with Hellblade? El, yeah, um, the, right, it's, all of Iceland. They not, <laughs> they, it, was, it was absent at E3, they, they put it on that little extra bit. I'm happy to certainly lower it, or get rid of it. It's, it's very high for something that hasn't got anything. No, I'm taking it off. I'm, it I'm off. punishing it for just being in Iceland. Too long, yeah. they're not doing enough. <laughs> it feels too far out. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it ain't even get we ain't got shit. So what I might do is I'll move Dying Light so it breaches the top ten. Yeah. I've uh, Back for Blood so it breaches the top eleven. Oh yeah. fuck! I've fucked the spreadsheet. Oh dear, disaster! Live on air. Okay. And I'm gonna slot it in above Avowed. I'm gonna take yeah. another one. Give on it the give it some safety. So that's that. Kick it. Bang. Oh. Good. That's one I definitely wanted on. The rest, I'm just looking down the list now. It can all rot in hell. So I've, I've succeeded. Yeah. Ghostwire Tokyo. What happened? Something happened to this the other Delay day. News. Delay news! Yeah. 2020-22. I think this is a no. Yeah, not a chance. It looked like to when we last saw it, and it's been delayed. Yeah. 
it's one of those weird Bethesda games that's coming to PS PlayStation first. Oh, that's right. And only for PlayStation for like probably a year. And the second one of that package is Deathloop. Now we've seen a lot of this game. We've seen more than. Say, yeah, that's definitely isn't it. Yeah, certainly that one deserves to be on there more. But I'd yeah, I'd say no to uh, Ghostwire Ghost. gone, dead. What about Deathloop then? Because let's not kick around the bush. No, that does. I've got to say the last we had that um, Ujiba flip, didn't we? Little like state of play, wasn't it? And that was like, the yeah. highlight of it. That's it, yeah. That and that that did boost it up. Trouble is, there's stuck. There's still some big games coming up, and this list is getting quite thin. Mm. Um, mm. I mean, could we could we take something off like like avowed? I mean, we've mentioned it. Yeah, see, avowed is another one that's very high for. It went missing. Stuff that's gone missing in E3. Made, yeah, that should be um, taken off really because we ain't seen anything. So it's going to come off for now. It'll be back, I'm sure of it. Yeah, it was is Final Fantasy 16. Mm. Didn't get any of that. I oh, know, but it's Final Fantasy oh. 16, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't touch that. Legacy title. Legacy. I'm going to put it in at 13. Then I'm just going to replace it with Avowed. Death yeah. Loop on. It's above Far Cry 6. I don't know how you feel about that. We can reshuffle this later. We'll get them on the list, and then we'll have one last look through all the slots and go, right, right what's hello. going on here? Next one. It could be a straight swap, but I feel like these projects are both in the exact same point of development almost. They're going to come out very close to each other, and they're going to be fighting for that same audience. We recent, we only saw it this past week. Cool. EA fucking Play Live. Big Austin... Is it Creed? His name is Xavier Woods. What's his real name? Xavier Woods. Yeah, Austin. Yeah, it is Austin. Is that Creed. his real name? Because that is a great yeah. name. If that is like legit, Xavier Woods. Is that his? Is That's that his wrestling his... name. Is it? Yeah. Austin Watson. Ah, <laughs> apparently not as good. I thought it was Creed. So that's the good. But he revealed to us that the project is no longer rumoured innuendo. It exists. Dead Space, the remake. Now, we've got a few details on this. Um, Motif will be developing it, Motif Studio. So that was actually the studio that Jade Raymond set up at EA, I think, to do the uh, the Star Wars game. <laughs> yeah, and then they fucking shit all over it, and it's gone now. So, so here's what we've got. Motif are doing it. Here's what they've got their fingers over. Star Wars Battlefront 2, in, in collaboration with DICE and Criterion Games. That was like a freeway project. And then they did go off and do that Squadrons. I don't know if you've played that yet. Um, God, I bought it. Now it's fucking on everything yeah, for free. Yep. Right. Yep. Not ideal. So Dead Space is going to be their next game. It's going to be a remake, ground-up jobby, next-gen only. No compromises. Motive saying, look, you're having your ray trace reflections and you're going to fucking eat it up. Now... Uh, my view, it ha- I mean, it's the, the other thing, the only thing I'm uh, apprehensive of, we've just taken off Gotham Knights, Senua's Saga, Avowed, and I reckon all the this as well is going to be released around the same time as these. It's it's a long yeah. way out. We're talking 2023 earliest. True. Although the, the Callisto protocol still exists on there. It does. So that's what I'm, th- well, they're, but they're, we could have both of them on there or one or the other. So who do you trust more? Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm more hyped for Dead Space than this Callisto Protocol, even though it does look the same sort of thing. So, yeah. Right, Callisto Protocol's off. Right, swap it for this. Swap, we'll put Dead Space on. Stick with the IP, which might be a mistake, but I don't know how long it'll survive on there, Dead Space. It'll probably survive this round, but I think when we don't hear anything for 18 months, we're going to be like, right, (laughs) what are we doing here? So that's that. That's, That's gone at number 19. Again, we can reshuffle this and protect it later on but we'll see how it goes next one peewee's favorite this is what he's been waiting for <laughs> battlefield 2042 no oh. campaign mm. but we have this little portal mode where you can make your own fucking rules basically you can make your own game modes you can't change the maps but you can set up like 
a hundred <laughs> World War Two soldiers against a squad of like six modern soldiers because the weapons are all going to be different. So it's there for the community. It'll keep the game fresh, but it is going to be multiplayer only. Seventy big boys as well is the rumor. It's not our jam, this sort of game, but no, Battlefield, I feel like out of all of them, I've always loved Battlefield more than, not loved, I've always preferred to play them just because they're chaos. Yeah. Now, yeah. is there enough chaos to get it on this fucking list, or is it a maybe pile, or is it an outright get rid? I think, like, I don't know, it's, it, sh- it should, but I feel like the, the game's, this is our list. Uh, it is. It is. I don't know if it's got the moolah to get on. Uh, you know, I'm, I, yeah, I didn't. Like, there was no. I mean, I was looking at five, but mm. I think one Battlefield One was the last one I played. I don't know. There's nothing for me on here. I'd, I'd say personally, a maybe pile. It, yep, that's where I just, I just put it there. Like before you started rambling, I thought that's where I'm thinking. We'll put it there yeah. and we'll come back to it later if there's. Room. Yeah, or well, maybe we'll, maybe we'll have clear heads later on. So, it has been crapped on, <laughs> in a way. But oh, wow. they haven't really earned. You if, never know. if this game wasn't coming to Game Pass at some point, because it it will, because it's part of the EA stable and the EA games come six to twelve months after, I would never ever play it. I'd never pay money for it. The fact that it's going on there gives it a, just a little bit of a chance that in six months I may play it. 2042 on the maybe pile could be back next one the game we saw the most of probably at e3 guardians of the galaxy oh, yes but nice. look rough as dog shit so <laughs> are we going to punish it for that it did uh i think it should go in yeah but here's what i'm thinking go on Below Halo Infinite, above Kenner. Above or Kenner, yeah. Pokemon. That so we could we could do one or two things. We could make I our think... lives easier and move everything up. So there's no. Yeah. So I'm gonna put so Metroid Dread's gonna be preliminary four. Breath of the Wild's gonna get a big promotion up to five, yeah. but we'll revisit. Guardians can then go in where you wanted it, so that'll go in at fourteen. So above Kenner, below Halo, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that gives us a little... I mean, we haven't got to cut anything off just yet. Fable clinging on for its dear life, but... I thought, well, no, but level uh, three is the only empty space now, is it? Yeah, well, I've, I've mo- what I've done is I've moved everything up, and now the oh, bo- right. number 20 is just listed there, so we will come back and revisit. Yeah. He's not happy with that, but that's what's happened. <laughs> Stalker 2. Oh. I just played the yeah. Metro trilogy. Say, yeah. just after coming up the Metro trilogy. Did it good. Was there gameplay in that? Mm. There was. Quite a bit actually. Yeah, it did the bloody good. I got to and Gorgus, mm. I remember rightly. Oh, there's so many games. No, there's still, think, there's oh, still more to come. <laughs> now. I've got uh, another including not including this, I've got another thirty games. I mean we will start oh. rifling through them, but Stalker 2. Now, look, there is a spare spot on there. It could just jump in and go at 20. Yeah, just, just, we're, we're, we're just kicking the issue down the fucking road, though. It's going to come back and bite yeah. us in about six minutes, I reckon, because there'll be a game that we want to put on, and we'll be like, oh, no, we've got to take it off. Oh, yeah, that's true. Stick it on for now. We'll stick it on for now, and the problem will rear its head in precisely 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, nice easy one here. Redfall. Binned. Bye. Yeah, ta-ta. No. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. CGI crap. Don't do that, Microsoft. Next one. Oh, ta-ta, this one. But I know that you've had previous with the uh, the main series that this is based on. Tiny Tina's Wonderland, a spin-off of Borderlands. Yeah. Uh, nah. See, I don't know what this is. Nah, chuck Some it. Diablo type thing. No, not for me. If ta-ta, it, if that. Borderlands 4, then yes, but... Not for now. Paul will be sucking the tea at this. He might want some of the action. He but... will, but he'll be disappointed when no one else buys it. So he'll be playing on his own. <laughs> Next one. I don't think it's got a shot, but I was mildly interested in the gameplay we've seen. Sifu. 
the uh, the martial arts game where you seem to like age as you die, like you die and then your age goes up by a few years each time. They showed it at the last Sony State of Play. Uh, it looks really interesting. Um, yeah. But again, no solid sort of details and actually how it works. It looks a tad awkward is what I would say. Showing. I was like, cool, this is PS2 footage. But is there a fly? I thought there was a fly in it. <laughs> <laughs> the swatter. Swatter. Butter. Um but yeah, I'd stick this in the maybe pile, I reckon. Alright, yeah. Well if it gets a chance, it may survive. A plague tale requiem. Now this is the other one that looks good. This is another stalker esque. Have you played the first one? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I haven't. But it's just gone on gold game. No, gold. No. PlayStation oh, Plus PS5 version, 60 FPS glory. So maybe because I've played it and I kind of liked it. I didn't. I think the everyone was mouthing off a bit too much. I say yeah. for now it doesn't go on. But if you get through that, maybe on the next one you'd have played it and gone right. I'm yeah. hyped for the sequel, and we can come back to it. So I'm going to put it on the bin pile because. Oh, God. I was dreading this next game. Right. Forza Horizon 5. Number three. In. <laughs> Above Elden Ring. Oh, for me? Yes. <laughs> I, I don't know what else could go that high. Oh. No, nah, mate. Swap El put Elden Ring at three and Forza at four. All right. So it gets full. Uh, so something's. Okay, Elden. Uh, not Elden. Uh, Forza is very high. It could be. That's definitely coming this year. Yeah, it is. But it's I mean, shit in it. Game. So now we've got a problem because that, that, that's that issue I mentioned that's going to come back and sting us. We're at that stage because Stalker 2 in trouble here. It's been bumped off. Now we've been eyeing up Fable because it's just been a screen for so long. Yeah. Does that just come off and then Stalker goes in yeah, at 20? Yeah. Fable yeah, binned. If, yeah, if it's just a screen. It is. Having it. Again, it's, it's one of those things that was, it was announced last year and we thought, oh, we'll get nice juicy updates at E3. Yeah. We didn't. Absent. Next one. This is going the fucking absent pile. Metro Prime 4. Bin. Yeah, number one. They've restarted that and given it to Retro, apparently. Next one in the bin, Elder Scrolls 6. Another screen. That ain't coming. That ain't even started yet, they said. Chucked it, went no. Not for me. Not for me. Uh, Gran Turismo 7. Nah. Again, seen nothing. Next Max Effect, binned. Chucker. Dragon Age 4. Now, normally I'd fight for this, but I've been hearing it's live service. Binned. Oh, Chucker. Still nothing. That's been, that was announced a long time ago yeah. as well. We yeah. Should have an update. Exactly. Absolutely. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time remake. Oh, Biff's favourite. <sighs> Dear, binned. Fuck Chuck it in the bin. <laughs> Vampire, The Masquerade Bloodlines 2. That's been restarted. That's not coming out. Binned. Here's one for you. Oh, New World, in at number one. That's not getting on the list. Paper said he's not going to play it. If he's <laughs> oh, if he, if he's the one who's fucking... Went to the moon and back for this game. Fucking wanking over it. And then he's like, oh, I won't even play it if, they don't, if it doesn't work on my fucking 80-year-old PC running at 20 FPS. He's blaming the game for a 1060... It's getting gobbled up by it, and then he's got Dave in his ear roll saying, Buy more RAM. That ain't gonna solve it, mate. Get a fucking PC. New one. Next. Sports Story. Golf Story, The Nightmare. Oh, 20 hours. Let's restart that again. Um, you restarted from scratch? Nah. Oh. Uh, no, I just went back to where I was. I was. I need I'll fight. I've still got another like 15 oh, hours. A bad one. I'm, I'm going to say maybe pile. Yeah, stick it to maybe because it is a fun game, but it's fucking long. Here he is. Cool. Lapper's here. He's been heard. He's been caught out. I knew he was lurking. You can see the uh, people yeah. in the chat. Skull and Bones, dead. So, there was an update on that. Yeah, it's gone to the fucking bins, isn't it? So, let me just check the nose. Now it's oh no, devs oh no, they just takes out the trouble they've been having. That was it. Yeah. I mean, fucking sack it. Chuck it in the bin. 
Bayonetta 3, bin. Binned. Cool. Bin. What happened to that game? Why has she got them tits out? Uh, let me just, I'm going to, just out of curiosity, I want to check exactly um, when it was revealed. Because <laughs> it feels like it was fucking ages ago. Uh, the Game Awards 2017. That was a fucking hell. That was when the bloody PS4 Pro came out. <laughs> um, yeah, it came out, that was the same thing as the Metro Prime, wasn't it? Yeah, I think they were, or that year anyway. I think yep. Prime. You're still within three years. Not even a fucking new title. Nothing. Oh dear. Chuck her in the bin. What about this Suicide Squad game? Again. Now we've had more than a screen, but ain't had nothing, and that's been over a year now. Yeah. They've just dropped a new film, so. Chuck it. Chuck it for now. Shadow Warrior 3 is one of your ones. Oh, yeah. Uh, ain't come out, is it? No. no it's, had, it's had gameplay and. There's a bit more about it, but the hype's not that big, really. I'm was, I was, I'm nursing my way through the first game, and I've heard the second one's a fucking minefield because it's got full of loot boxes. Oh, God. So, uh, nah. Chuck it in the bin, then. Uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2. Nah. I mean, I would... It's not, it's not, not for what we've got on there. I mean, I'll, nah. I'll, I'll take off Forza Horizon 5, but it's not an option. Oh, it's up here. So... <laughs> Chuck that away. Rainbow yeah. Six Extraction. Delayed to 2022. Another recent update since E3. So I'm going to say bin. Oh, it was quarantine, wasn't it? Now it's Extraction, is it? It's quarantine. Then there was another one that was Parasite, which was rumoured. And then it's Extraction. Cool. Get okay, mad. Sick of it. Chuck it. Lord of the Rings Gollum. Oh, absolute fucking golem. I've seen a bit of gameplay. It looks fucking weird as shit. Krog's favourite type of game, stealth. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. This seems weird. I don't, I don't know who's green lit this and gone, yep, yeah, that's what people want. A stealth Lord of the Rings game where you play as golem in a cartoony world. Who's asked for that? Chuck it. Chuck it. Splatoon 3. Not a chance. <laughs> Mario and Rabbid, Spark of Hope. Get in the bins. I, ain't play- I, I want to play the first one, then maybe I'll change from one, but I haven't, so there's nothing. Okay. You know what? This list is looking quite bulletproof at the moment, and maybe I've missed a game or two, but we've still got a few more to go. But it's looking good. These boys will be happy that they've got on there. Arc 2, Vin Diesel edition. Oh, does this remind me of Paper? Did he play the first one? Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. The the trouble I've always got about the art games is I've I, think I dabbled on it on there's like a free weekend on Xbox. They just ran like shit. And this is yeah. like you know Paper's awful computer aside. He could have had the super computer with the the RAM upgrade that Dave's promised him. The extra eight gig is going to make it run like fucking Grease Lightning. And it's still this game wouldn't run because it's just not been made properly. So I've got no confidence that they're not going to fucking do the same here. It's just going to have Vin Diesel's bald head roaring around. <laughs> so, yeah, no. In the oh, bins. Oh. be interesting to see that, though. Apparently that's fucking really popular, that game, amongst, like, youngsters. Anime as well. Yeah. There's an anime series coming. What the fuck? As well. Vin Diesel's front in the cash, probably. They're going, yep. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe he fucking loves it. Anyway... No, not for us old men. Oh, Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora. See, now, as much as, like, you Anakin's. know, it's, <laughs> again, it's another, it's a no, because it, there's fuck all there, there's just like a CGI trailer, Excellent. but the type of game it is, it does tweak the nipples. Yeah. And Avatar, like... Ubisoft. Uh, Ubisoft cheese. Then, uh, yeah, then, I don't know, maybe, it's a maybe for me, but I haven't seen anything, so it don't deserve to go on. <laughs> the Outer Worlds 2, best trailer, but no info, binned. Outer. You know, when we get when we actually get to see that game run, the trouble is with Obsidian, who make that, they've, they've got to get a vow done, and they're chucking out the second one of this. <laughs> yeah, that is true. So that's getting fucking blown away. Perfect Dark. 
Did that? Oh, that was another CG trailer, wasn't it? Yeah. Sick of it. Binned. Ever wild. Been re. That's been re. Fucking started from scratch. So binned. Was that rare that was doing that? Yeah, I think it was, wasn't it? Diabolical. Indiana Jones. Just we've literally seen a title of it in the whip crack. Binned. Contraband. God. Oh, binned. Project 007. Binned. Ain't seen it. No chance. What about this little nipple twickler? Twickler? Twickler. Overwatch 2. Oh, Jeff trashes it. Jeff's in. gone. Binned. Executive been decision made. Once Jeff lit, it's, there's problems going on with that number two. Yeah, touching people. And... So that's that. So we've got, that's all the games I had listed. Was there right. anything that you had that's been missed? Like a major yeah. blip? Oh, eFootball. Yeah, <laughs> Pro Evo's dead. It's now called eFootball. Uh, free to play Pro Evolution Soccer, basically. Well, the camp, uh, the uh, Master League, apparently. Which is like so you career. you buy you play FIFA, correct me if I'm wrong. Like yeah. most years, so what do you play when you play FIFA? Uh, what's it called on that? I used career. To so, yeah, career mode. I play that. So now I it... have a team, but can't play against the computer anymore. So oh, been like, that. So, yeah, I play career mode now. So now, if FIFA went right, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go free to play. So all you get from day one is Ultimate Team. But if you want, you can pay 20 quid. That's all you've got to pay, and you'll get career mode. Would you not prefer that? Because then you haven't got to have all the other guff. Yeah, I suppose if it is. Yeah, I suppose that's all right. But then if they start going, oh, to sign another player, it's an extra three quid. <laughs> well, well, if they do that, then yeah. But apparently the Master League is just going to be the same, just that you buy it as DLC, so you just pay whatever the price that is. But if it's 40 quid, then maybe there's like a bit of a swindle. Anyway, any other games for consideration? What's that one? Oh, yeah, what was that? that looked like shit, though, didn't it? That Babylon? Oh, <laughs> and that yeah, Babylon's Fall looked awful, and so did Final Fantasy. Tutor. Riders Republic, Age of Empires. No. Uh, WarioWare. No. Company of Heroes Three. Some people are talking about. No. Sorry. I need to play the first two, maybe then, but not for now. Pretty sure Rocksmith. Plus in it. That the Evil Dead game. Yeah, it looks like the um, Bloody, uh, not Evil Within. What are they call Dead by Daylight and the yeah Friday the Thirteenth. As- asymmetric is it that? Hello, Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Let's say my mic. I keep looking at them. No it's more sh- heroes. No more heroes. Look fucking dreadful. That's shit. Now here's the thing. There was game. Did you say you're going to shut me down with? Um, Ghost of Tsushima DLC yep. slash Director's Cut. Yep. Shut that shit down as well as um, Death Stranding Director's Cut. Both cut out of it. Out of life, fair enough. C'est la vie, see to me. Yep. I think that's it then. Is there anything? Nothing I could. I mean, look, it's not a. 100% exhaustive list like we never claim that they're just the ones that I had seen and that we'd we talked about previously we talked about live service hmm. oh what is there another one new GTA 6 coming 2025 <laughs> don't exist does it it's lies fibs people just fibbing yeah, but that's um, gaming bible that said that they always tell the truth yeah according to Biff they do they clearly don't they talk shite 95% of the time. Um, I think that's it, to be honest. Just right. That's going to be it. That's it. Close. Yeah. So there's four for consideration, which we'll come yeah. back to. But this is the list at the moment. So shout if there's anything that sounds silly bollocks on there. Because um, Getting ready. Number one, still reigning champion, God of War Ragnarok. God of War... Yeah. 
PS4 compromised. Number two, Horizon Forbidden West, PS4 compromised. Number three, Elden Ring, PS4 compromised. Number four, Forza Horizon 5, Xbox One compromised. Number five, Metroid Dread, the Switch is just compromised all over the gaff, so that just goes without saying. 4K option. <laughs> Breath of the Wild 2, or whatever it's going to be fucking called, number six. Number seven, Final Fantasy 16. It's been lucky there. That's really. <laughs> number eight, Starfield. That's fine. Number nine, Dying Light 2. Number 10, Back for Blood. Number 11, Psychonauts 2. Number 12, Deathloop. Number 13, Far Cry 6. Oh, so Number 14, Halo Infinite. Number 15, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Number 16, Kenner, Bridge of Spirits. Number 17, Pokemon Legends, Arceus. Well, the other one didn't even get a sniff. What's the other oh, one? Diamond. Ah, uh, nah, fuck them. Yeah. Number 18, 12 minutes. Number 19, Dead Space. It's not any feature, it's called Dead Space. Yeah. Motif. Number 20, Stalker 2. So, right, so that's a pretty solid list. I believe so. Uh, I feel like, just out of the, in terms of fairness... Stalker and Dead Space should probably swap. Yeah, I was. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the first thing I want to do. Yeah, so Dead Space down at the bottom. Yeah, it'll be lucky to survive a couple more rounds, but it's there for now. Um, the other one I was thinking of is: Do we have Final Fantasy Two I? I mean, we did. Yeah. We did see like this, they did have like a little shitty bit of. I'm sure there's a small bit of gameplay in the Square conference. It was like six seconds long, but it's gone a bit quiet. But we have seen a fair amount of that to start with. Yeah, that's true. Because underneath yeah. it's Starfield, and I still feel like we've seen more of Final Fantasy. Just from, yeah. that, just from that initial PlayStation thing we saw last year. But it has gone quiet, which we have been punishing. You can leave it. Leave it, yeah. There's nothing really I would... Maybe Dying Light 2 deserves to be higher than 9, like just because we've both seemingly quite interested. Yeah, I was thinking that. Maybe that can go. Maybe we'll bump Starfield and Final Fantasy down, so 7 and 8, put Dying Light in at 7. It's underneath underneath Breath of the Wild, which is not bad for it. Yeah, let's do that. There you go, Techland. Don't say we don't give you anything. So that's now the new number 7. We've seen a lot of that, haven't we, really? And it does look fucking scary and so on. Um, then really, like, I wouldn't fiddle too much. No, I think that's all right. Psychonauts is quite hot, yeah. Da, da, Halo Infinite's... Well, they only showed us the multiplayer, didn't they? That's true, yeah. They did show us like a little... It was just a gameplay thing, and I was like, well, what's this? It was just a, it was just literally cutscenes. I was like, well, it doesn't any different from what you showed. No. No. So... Mm. I'm happy to leave it. Yeah. I don't think there's any... I mean, we've got Life is Strange, True Colours on the Maybe Pile, nope. Battlefield 2042, sorry, Pee Wee, nope. Sifu, nope. Sports, sorry, nope. They're the, they're the four maybe. Yeah. I don't think any of them deserve... Fine, yeah. Chuck them. Good change, but... Oh, yeah, some stuff, but no, I think that's a pretty solid list, to be honest. Right. So, I'm going to lock it in. Not quite for any of those games. 20. Yeah, well, he only plays MMOs, so it's... Yeah. What does that say about he's a human being? Not good. (laughs) Here we go. Quick one to 20, and then we'll probably call it. 
Yeah. God of War, number one. Number two, Horizon Forbidden West. Number three, Elden Ring. Number four, Forts of Horizon 5. Number five, Metroid Dread. Number six, Breath of the Wild 2. Number seven, Dying Light 2. Number eight, Final Fantasy 16. Number nine, Starfield. Number 10, Back for Blood. 11, Psychonauts 2. 12, Deathloop. 13, Far Cry 6. 14, Halo Infinite. 15, Guardians of the Galaxy. 16, Kenner, Bridge of Spirits. 17, Pokemon Legends Arceus. 18, 12 minutes, 19, Stalker 2, 20, Dead Space Remake. Done. That's it. It's sealed. We're not touching it now. The chat are going mental. They are. The chat, it was people saying Rainbow Street 6 Extraction. I mean, what, what? some of you Excuse boys me. need to sort your heads out. You're just chucking out garbage. What's humankind? What Hall's on about? <laughs> no. It's not. Who isn't poor? It's fucking look at the reviews, mate. Right, nines across the board every year. It was, I don't particularly. I'm not. In, I'm that, and you know, Far Cry Six are a disgrace. But I will allow those because there's other stuff on there that yeah. is is controversial with twelve minutes, and people are saying Psychonauts now is, is controversial, which isn't. But twelve minutes, definitely lucky. But we'll see how that goes. Right, I'm going to call it off. We'll shut it down. And then you can squabble with the twat, uh, the, t- the twat, the chat. <laughs> they are twats uh, after the show is, has been has been done. But thanks for joining us this week on this edition of Idle Game Chat. If you want to support Idle Game Chat, it's patreon.com forward slash dimp digital or head over to twitch.tv slash dimp digital where you can subscribe or use your Amazon Prime subscription to give us some beer money. So both those options are available to you. To our current subscribers and patrons, thank you very much for supporting the show. It would still be going ahead without your help, though, so don't think you're that important. Anyway, nothing more for us to say here, though, other than thanks for your time and (laughs) ta-da. This was a Dimp Digital production.